In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use tom drums to create an engaging and groovy low end in your house and techno tracks. Hey guys, Dilly here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use tom drums to create an engaging and groovy low end in your house and techno tracks. This is a really cool technique that's popular in styles like organic house, melodic techno, tech house, afro house, loads of stuff really. Just quickly, if you like the track that's playing, it's a new one of mine from Glasgow Underground out next week. I'll leave a link in the description to Beatport and Spotify where you can go and check it out. And as always, if you want to grab a copy of the project files that we're working on in this video, then you can do so in the link in the description. It goes to my Patreon where you can download the project files for all of the videos that I do on the channel. Anyway, enough of that. Let's jump into Ableton and get this groove going. All right, so here we are inside Ableton, and this is a wee project that I put together in a bit of a melodic techno kind of style. It's a little bit different to what I normally do, so if it's not to your taste, sorry. <laughs> But what I want to demonstrate is how to get these tom groove bass lines going on. So I'm not going to go through detail of the elements in the project. We're talking about the bass today. But if you want to grab a copy of the project, there's a link in the description to Patreon. So you can go and grab that and look through it on your own time. Let's take a quick listen to the 16 bar loop I've done. And then we can talk about it a little bit. You can hear there it's relatively developed it's got a few interesting elements they're working well together but the problem that i have is the low end is pretty boring and what i'll show you here on the master if i high cut everything and then we just listen to the low end So the chord progression, which you can hear in the bass, is fine, it's cool, but there's no groove in the low end. And in my opinion, that's really important, especially to get people dancing and moving in the club. So what I've added is this tom bass line. It's just a very simple bass line. It gives some energy in the low end to dance to. So let's turn this off and hear it in the context. I'll just turn off these lead elements and we can have a listen. You can hear there it's got some interplay between the kick there's kind of a groove happening in the low end so this long sustained bass line is making kind of the emotion or the feeling of the track and the tom is like creating groove and rhythm in the low end so how do we do that well let's make a new midi track i'll just turn this off and drag in this is just an 808 low tom what i'm going to do is hit c on my keyboard I can see here that that is playing an E. So I'm going to tune it down four semitones. Now it's playing C. I'm going to turn the sustain up, turn the release back a little bit. Maybe a little bit less sustain. Sounds good. I'll cut away a little bit of this. I'll add a little bit of saturator just to increase the harmonics a wee bit. So I'm just adding some drive and then pulling back the gain. Check on the soft clipping. Now, what I might do is instead of doing, bringing it down minus four, I'll make it plus eight. So then we're playing up an octave. And that's about where I want it to be playing. Maybe a little bit less drive, let's say six, and then I'll go minus six. I'm just listening there to make sure that I've not got too much release, but if I hold it down, I should get a sustain, more sustained tom drum. Cool. Now I want to turn on some LFO tool because like any other bass line, we want to be kind of ducking it to the kick so that we're not getting a buildup of frequencies in the low end. 
So what I'm going to do is actually turn off this bass line and just kind of listen along and see if I can find a rhythm that sounds cool with the rest of the elements. So I just made a one bar loop here. I'm going to put this to my scale. If I play C, So it doesn't even need to be that complicated. We could make it more sparse, something like this. Even... Make it over two bars. I'll just turn that down a little bit. Maybe. So all I'm doing here is just trying to find an interesting groovy pattern that works with the rest of the elements. I'm playing it in key because it's a tonal element. We can see that on the spectrum analyzer, it's got a clear tone. If you want to make it more melodic and put a bit more movement in there, totally fine. But now when we add back the bass line, there's something groovy happening underneath. I think I'll just remove these notes, bring these back down. So this is the type of thing that you might have playing from the beginning of the track to have something to dance to in the low end while the DJ's mixing in, maybe before you drop that main bass hook in. Alternatively, you can also play this like down an octave how I had it before, minus four, and have it as the main sub of the track. In this case, I would cut away a bit of the sub from the bass. And this kind of sound here is pretty popular at the moment in like minimal deep tech tracks and tech house tracks. So if you want to grab the project and see things in a bit more detail, there's a link in the description where you can grab that from my Patreon. You can dive in there and see a little bit more detail about everything that I've done. You can also have a look through the other elements, uh, like these melodic elements here. and all the drums and everything. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Super simple, but highly effective technique for getting more groove in your low end. If you're looking for more awesome production tutorials, then check out this video right here. It's sick. <laughs> all right, that's it from me today. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Let them take everything they strive. Let them solve the equations of life. Let them see those atomic isotopes that speak in nature. Give it to them. Give them that love.